Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a simple snowman using Tinkercad's code blocks. If you like this project, please give the video a like, and if you'd like to be updated if I make a new video adding arms, a hat, and a scarf to our snowman, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anyway, let's get into it. The first thing that we will have to do is we will scroll down and we will click on create and we will select a new code blocks design. Once we load in, we can change the name to something that's easier for us to find. And now we can begin making our snowman. The first thing that we need to do is make the body of our snowman. The body of our snowman will consist of three spheres, each smaller than the next. In order to make the body, I'll go over to the Shapes tab and I'll drag in a sphere. Once our sphere is dragged in, I'll click on this little arrow right here to open up some options and I'm going to change the radius of our sphere from 10 to 35. I'm also going to change the color of our sphere to white because this is a snowman after all. After that, I'll drag in another sphere. Again, I'll change the color to white. I'll click on the arrow and this time I'm going to raise the sphere's size to 25. After that, I'm going to go to the modify tab and I'm going to drag in a move command. This is to move the second segment of our snowman up a little bit, and I'm going to move it up by 45. Now we just need to make the head of the snowman. In order to do that, I'll go back to the Shapes tab. I'll drag in a sphere, change the color to white, and I'm going to set the radius for the head to be 15. After that, I'll go back to the Modify tab. I'll drag in the Move command and I'm going to set the Z to 75. Now, if I press play, we can check our work. And there, we've got the perfect start of our snowman. Next, we're going to have to add in some eyes, a mouth, and a nose. Let's go. First off, we're going to go back to the Shapes tab, and we're going to drag in another sphere. I'll change the color of this sphere to black, and then I'll click on that arrow once again, and I'm going to adjust the radius down to two. Now I will go back to the modify tab and I'll drag in a move command. To move the eye into position, I'm going to set the X to negative five. I'll set the Y to negative 12 and the Z to 80. Now I could go back to the shapes tab and drag in another sphere and move it into position. Or I can make my life a little bit easier by right clicking on our first eye and duplicating it like so. Then I can just add it to the bottom of our chain and I'm going to adjust the X value for our second eye to five. Now, if we press play and check our work, we can see the body being created and our two eyes are in position. Great, now we can start on the nose. In order to make the nose, we will right click on one of our eyes and duplicate it, add it to the bottom of the chain, and then we'll adjust some values again. We're going to set the X to be zero. The Y value is going to change to be negative 14, and the Z value is going to be 76. Then we can duplicate the nose, add it to the bottom, and we're going to start working on the mouth next. For the mouth, we're going to first set the X value to two. We're going to set the Y value to negative 13. We're going to set the Z value to 72. Then we'll duplicate that piece of mouth, add it to the bottom, and we'll change the X value to negative two. We'll keep the Y at negative 13, and we'll keep the Z at 72. Then we'll duplicate it again, add it to the bottom, and we're going to set the X value for this one to be six. We're going to set the Y value to be negative 12, and the Z value to be 74. This is the last piece of the mouth, so we'll duplicate one more time, add it to the list, and 
we're going to change the z value to be negative 6. But we'll keep the y and z values the same. Now if we hit, hit play to check our work, we can see our by being made, the eyes, there's our nose, and there's our mouth. Great. Next up, we'll add some buttons to our snowman. I'll go back to our shapes and I'll drag in a sphere and I'm going to set the radius of this sphere to be three. After that, I'll go to the modify tab and I'm going to drag in a move command. I'm going to move the button. The X will stay zero. The Y is going to be negative 19 and the Z is going to be 60. Now, to save ourselves some time, I can duplicate that first button and add it to the bottom. I'm going to change the move command though, and I'm going to change the Y from negative 19 to negative 23, and I'm going to change the Z from 60 to 50. Then I can duplicate that button again, add it to the bottom. I'm going to keep the Y at negative 23, but I'm going to change the Z to 40. Now when we hit play, we can check our work once more. Eyes, nose, mouth, and finally our buttons. And to give our snowman a little bit of flair, I think I'm going to change the middle button to red. I think that will look good. Much better. Now, the last thing that we need to do is to chop off the bottom of our snowman so that it's ready to be 3D printed. In order to do that, we'll go back to the Shapes tab and we'll drag in a box. We'll click on that little arrow and we're going to adjust some of the dimensions of our box. The width is going to be 80, the length is going to be 80, and the height will be 40. After that, we'll go back to the Modify tab, we'll drag in a Move command, and we're going to move our box down 40, so we'll set Z to negative 40. The last thing that we need to do is drag in a Create Group tab, and we can finally check our work and see our final result. Oops, we forgot to change the box from a shape into a hole. We can do that by clicking there. And there we go. Everything looks good. So, I hope you found this video interesting and you enjoyed it. If you had any trouble making your snowman, you can pause here and check my code. First, I'll show you the code for the body and head. Next, I'll show you the code for the eyes, nose, and mouth. And finally, we have the code for the buttons and removing the bottom of the snowman. If you liked it, please subscribe so that you're notified when I make an update to this video, adding a scarf, a hat, and some arms to our snowman. Thanks for watching, and have a great holiday.